So the first stage of this year's Tour de France is currently underway with South Africa's Nicolas Lamini having claimed a massive slice of history in the epic race. He becomes the first black South African to take part after Team Kubega included the 25-year-old Cape Tonian on the roster. To chat a bit about what this means for the country, we joined by former professional cyclist Lutando Kaka. Lutando, thank you so much for joining us and good morning to you. Now, um, in December 2019, we saw um, Nicholas Lamini, of course, break his arm in that incident that happened um, at Sand Parks. And at the time, of course, there were concerns that he would not be able to uh, partake in the Tour de France. That's, of course, changed. His stars are definitely aligned. Um, we're seeing history being made with the first black South African in this event. What does this mean not only for Nicholas, but for South Africa? Yeah. Good morning, and once again, thank you for, for, for having me on the show. Uh, I mean, for, for me, this is, this is actually huge, and I mean, for the entire country to have the first uh, black cyclist coming from, from Kailich, uh, from, from, from Cape Town, and uh, riding the Tour de France. I mean, this is something that we've all been working for or working towards to, to try and get someone to, to show that it's possible. I mean, it's actually an inspiration to a lot of uh, cyclists across the country to say, you know, you can come from a small township here, as in Capricorn, Cape Town, going through the structures of Veloca and actually making your way all to the Tour de France. So it's quite an inspiration and uh, uh, big things are still coming. I think uh, what Nick has just done has just inspired a lot of people to show that it actually is possible. So uh, congratulations to him and uh, congratulations to the entire team for making such a decision to include the youngster in his team. I think you're right with that, uh, Lutando. There's definitely bigger things coming. This is literally just um, the start. Now, stage one of the Tour de France, you know, it comes with never-ending accelerations due to frequent change in direction. There's also a lot of wind as well. And with you being a cyclist, you know, and being on the road as well, just speak to us a bit about some of the challenges that come with cycling in these conditions. Uh, I can imagine, but I mean, such conditions also come with an opportunity for riders like Nick himself. I mean, he's more of a puncher, so uh, I, I, I would like to see him maybe going on a breakaway and doing what he did, I think, about two two years ago in Australia and taking the, the king of the mountain, Jay-Z, early on. So we hope to see big things from him. So it's it's a stage that's filled with a lot of opportunities for guys like him, like him before they're starting uh, to work for their GC riders in the teams. So um, um, we, we're crossing fingers and we, we hope he pulls, a, he, pull, he pulls a big one for, for, for the entire country. And I mean, that would be, that would be huge. I think the entire country is crossing fingers for him right now, Lutando. Now, with your involvement um, in the development of cycling, how do you think we go about um, unearthing black talent so that we can create more Nicholas Dlaminis for our black children in the future, you know, and have them take up space? Uh, I mean, uh, Nicholas Lamini is a, is a good example of uh, the saying that it takes an entire village to raise a, a, a child. And I mean, he started off in Capricorn, went through the structures of Vilokaya uh, in, in, in Cape Town and uh, had a lot of people that assistance, assisted in, in his development, including your Nicholas White, uh, Ho Chili, which are uh, made up of a group of guys from South Africa and abroad. So it, it really uh, starts with actually equipping and assisting in the grassroots development structures such as Veloka and many others across the country because that's where we actually invest in these youngsters uh, without even knowing if they'll, they'll, they'll go on to be like the Nicolas Camini and go on to the Tour de France. But it just takes everyone to assist uh, with 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 a, a young 12-year-old uh, that's that's based in Soweto, that's based in Umlazi. That's where we start, you know, assisting on the grassroots levels because Nick is an actually a good example that shows that uh, kids coming in from grassroots level can actually start there uh, and make it onto the world stage. And they don't have to, ca to come from affluent uh, suburbs, as you Constantia or, or Sentin or wherever. They could actually come from a township. And, uh, yeah, so hence it's quite an inspiring journey. And uh, we hope that government and uh, even the federation can actually assist all of those small academies uh, that are actually doing the work on grassroots level. 